Welcome, I'm Tom Malero, Vice President of Marketing for Pettit, and happy St. Patrick's Day. We're gonna go over our fight fouling boat owner rebate, as well as chat a bit more in depth on Hydroco and Odyssey HD today in today's presentation. Here at Pettit, we are dedicated to bringing constant innovation through our products and services. In fact, we were named the most innovative marine company by Soundings Trade Only. The following presentation will show you why we won such a prestigious award. Today on the St. Patrick's Day live stream, we're gonna have a short presentation filled with tons of exciting videos, rebates, and news to share. We will also answer most of the questions we received over the last couple weeks. We actually set a new record with over 200 questions submitted. Thank you all for participating. Not only is this the St. Patrick's Day, we're also celebrating a huge milestone. That huge milestone is Hydrocoat turns 25 this year. To celebrate, we've upgraded the branding on the label, which you see over here. We've modernized the color palette in the can. And last but not least, we are offering the biggest rebate ever on our original Hydrocoat, $50 per gallon. Now, let's talk about why Hydrocoat has been able to make it 25 years unlike most other bottom paints that kind of fizzle out after just a decade or so. Let's face it, prior to Hydrocoat, bottom paint stunk. Hydrocoat was the only water-based bottom paint on the market until Pettit introduced Hydrocoat Eco around 2010. Since then, other products have come, they've entered into the market, but none of them perform as well as Hydrocoat or nearly as well recognized. Hydrocoat performs as well as, if not better than traditional solvent-based paints. It's highly compatible over almost all existing finishes, including those really difficult to cover Teflon-based coatings like SR21 or VC17. It cleans up easily with soap and water, and the best part is it doesn't stink. Now, to hear more benefits on Hydrocoat, check out this video to apply, easy to clean up, effective water-based anti-fouling bottom paint is over. Pettit Paints Hydro Coat. Hydro Coat is the world's number one selling water-based ablative anti-fouling bottom paint. Hydro Coat features powerful anti-fouling protection that is environmentally friendly, odor-free, and compatible over any existing bottom paint. Available in two great formulas, Hydro Coat and Hydro Coat Eco. Both are self-polishing, multi-season ablatives that can be cleaned up with soap and water and can be launched and relaunched without losing effectiveness. Hydrocoat paints also never require sanding to be recoated. And did we mention? Compatible over all other bottom paints, including solvent-based and thin film Teflon-based coatings. Fight aggressive hard fouling with Hydrocoat, featuring over 40% cuprous oxide without the smell and messy cleanup. Hydrocoat has an unlimited launch time. Extended coverage up to 500 square feet per gallon can be painted and stored out of the water and is as effective, if not more effective, than traditional solvent-based paints. Fight both hard fouling and slime with Hydrocoat Eco, featuring a copper-free formula that is safe to use over any anti-fouling bottom paint, on any substrate, and even on all underwater metals. Hydrocoat Eco features the highest concentrations in the industry of both Echinea and Zinc Purithion to fight nasty fouling and aggressive slime. The search for the perfect water-based ablative multi-season anti-fouling is over. Pettit Paints, Hydrocoat, and Hydrocoat Eco. Welcome back. So in that video, you saw our Hydrocoat and our multi-award winning Hydrocoat Eco. And I bet a few of you are wondering what Hydrocode Eco is. Hydrocode Eco is a completely copper-free, water-based anti-fouling that uses two biocides to prevent both hard and soft fouling. Hydrocode Eco can be used on all substrates, including aluminum. So think of it this way. You could paint the bottom of your 30-foot sea ray with Hydrocoat, and then paint the outdrives with Hydrocode Eco to prevent issues with electrolysis, or alternatively, you can actually paint the entire bottom and the outdrives with only Hydrocoat Eco and prevent having to buy two different paints. Hydrocoat Eco is just as easy to apply, but the advantages are the copper-free technology as well as the secondary biocide that prevents the soft growling 
for the, uh, saw fouling for those areas with a lot of algae or slime. Now, we're going to go ahead now and answer some of your questions. Again, of the 200, uh, there's probably almost 250. There were a lot of duplicates or similar questions. So we did our best to break them down and keep them really on point. So let's hop right into them. The first one here was submitted by Roger Z from Millville, New Jersey. How soon do the boats need to be launched after painting with hydrocoat? So the boats that can be launched today, tomorrow, or up to two years from now due to the uh, technology. There isn't a 30-day window like other, uh, other paints. Now let's break that down a little bit further. So hydrocoat can be applied today. It could be launched uh, later on today if the weather is uh, okay to do so. You know, 60, 70 degrees at least. You don't want to do that in 50 degree temperatures. But the really nice thing about this, or about hydrocoat in general, is you could also paint the boat in the fall and launch it in the spring. Now, the advantage of that, of course, is the amount of time you have to do your spring projects. So if you're trying to get electronics on the boat, you're trying to paint the bottom, you're trying to do bright work, you're trying to paint the top sides, you're trying to do other repairs, caulking, things like that, sometimes you're really strapped for time in the spring. So painting hydrocoat in the fall and launching it in the spring is completely fine with the, with the product. It just also might help you with your other projects around the vessel to give you some more time. Next question. Michael N. Port Jefferson. What's the difference between hydrocoat and Odyssey? Well, that's a wonderful question and a very common one actually. So uh, Odyssey, which we will talk about more in detail shortly, is a solvent-based paint. Hydrocoat is a water-based paint. Both multi-season ablatives, Odyssey solvent, Hydrocoat is water-based. Next one. Mike D from Surrey, Maine. How many coats of Hydrocoat are recommended? That's a great question and we get this question a lot because a lot of people think multi-season on the can means you could put one coat on and it'll last multiple seasons. It's not really how it works. It's really a coat per season. So the initial application should be at least two coats. And then you could put on a refresher coat whenever the hydro coat gets worn down. I always suggest a signal coat. Now a signal coat is a contrasting color below where the hydro coat wears through. So say you want black on the outside. If you have a red interior coat and you wear through the black to the red, you know it's time to repaint and you aren't prematurely repainting when you don't have to and you're not creating more buildup than you need. So I always suggest a signal coat. Next up. Jonathan, Freeport, Maine. How many seasons will Hydrocoat last? That's another very common question. Unfortunately, it's a bit of a complicated one. It's like saying, how far can I go on a gallon of gas? It all depends on your driving style, if you scrub, if you don't scrub, if you do maintenance, if you use the vessel a lot. It's a lot of contributing factors. But Hydrocoat is a multi-season product, meaning that if you still see product on the vessel, it's still working. If it's getting thin, you have to repaint. Don't push it. Don't run out halfway through the season. Next question. Russell J, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Can I apply Hydroco or Odyssey over competitor's paint? Russell, absolutely. We love that. Just kidding. Well, we kind of do. Um, if it's a hard paint, you have to sand it well with 80 grit. If it's a traditional ablative, heavy pressure wash or scuff sand and then apply either product. John H. from Atco, New, Jer uh, New Jersey. I use Hydrocoat. Why sand or pressure wash or why sand versus pressure wash? So one thing is it's really a preference. Two, it really depends on what kind of buildup you have. The buildup is really what dictates the amount of prep needed. If there aren't many coats on the vessel, just power wash and paint. If you're getting heavy buildup, you're starting to see flaking, you're just starting to see some weird things happen because there's a, a lot of coating on there. You want to start sanding that very well with, you know, 36, 60, or 80 grit sandpaper to start knocking that mill thickness down. That will help prolong the life of the coating. Next one here, Anthony from Mastic Beach, New York. What type of roller should I use? It's another very common question. You can use a 316 snap roller if you like a smooth finish, but if you're gonna apply a thin coat like that, I really suggest putting at least two coats on 
to make sure you got proper coverage. Now, the most popular application is a 3 8 snap roller. It's really usually one time around the boat instead of two. And you're putting between four and six wet mills of product on the boat, which is really what's recommended. So we typically tend to tell folks 3 8 Pete H. from Chagrin Falls, which is better for Lake Erie? So I like for fresh water uh, or semi-brackish water, Hydrocodico. Hydrocodico is a dual biocide product, meaning that it has the slime resistance you need from that secondary biocide. Next up, Douglas G. from the New York and New Jersey area. What's the best bottom paint for Long Island Sound? Honestly, Hydroco, Hydrocode Eco, or Odyssey HD all work really well in that area. It really comes down to if you're going to apply it yourself, or if you're going to pay a yard, right? If you're going to apply it yourself, go the Hydrocoat route. Cleans up with soap and water, has no smell. It's very nice if you're doing it yourself. Next up, Tim K from Olympia, Washington. Why does Hydroco Eco work so well for me in Puget Sound? Well, I think that's a pretty easy one. Hydrocode Eco, because it's a dual biocide, it, provo it provides both hard and soft growth protection that you need in your water. So you're using the perfect product for your environment. Next up, William W. from Wells, Maine. Do two coats of Hydroco offer double the protection? Again, we go back to how far can you go uh, on a coat or two. It doesn't double the protection, but it does prevent premature wear through and ensures that you've got proper mill thickness. So that's really why we recommend two coats um, rather than it doesn't really offer double the protection. Thomas T from Monroe, Michigan. Can Hydrocoat be applied over VC-17? Absolutely. Sand it well with 80 grit and apply Hydrocoat. Ira L from Oxford, Pennsylvania. I've been using Hydrocoat for a year. When's the best time to buy? This is a very common question. We get this call almost daily uh, on our tech line. Honestly, the best time to buy Hydrocoat is right now. Um, and there's a few reasons for that. Most retailers are running spring sales, trying to get um, folks ready for the spring. And we, Pettit, are also running a $50 rebate. So don't wait to purchase the product. Go out and buy it today. Tim H. from Riverside, New Jersey. When I use Hydrocoat, sometimes the paint below it comes off. What should I do? Well, unfortunately, this is a common one as well, and it has nothing to do with the paint. It could be Hydrocoat, or it could be a competitor's product. What's happening right now is you have an ample amount of product on the bottom of the boat, most likely more than 20 or 30 mils of product. So to give you perspective, a credit card is about 30 mils. So you, whenever you get more paint than that on the bottom of your vessel, you're going to start having detachment because paint's not built to really be built up that much. So at this point, if it's coming off on a regular basis, it's really time to strip the bottom. So this may be an unpopular opinion because a lot of folks like doing things themselves, but I just suggest hiring a media blaster. Pay them to strip the bottom and apply at least two coats of Petter Protect and then Hydrocoat. And the reason why I recommend the media blast, sanding bottom paint stinks kind of like old bottom paint. If you can get away from it, if you've got the extra change in your pocket, it will save you a world of work. So whenever possible, hire a media blaster. Next up, James P. from Union Beach, New Jersey. What's the ideal temperature to apply Hydrocoat? For us, it's pretty simple. Anything over 50 degrees. Now, we do say on our label, you can apply it down to 42 or 45, something like that. However, anything over 50 degrees is really ideal. Thomas R. from New London, Connecticut. Can Hydrocoat be applied over uh, other unknown anti-fouling uh, or ablative bottom paints? Absolutely. Ablatives to ablatives, power wash, or light sand and apply. Very simple. Henry H., Stonington, Maine. Which Hydrocoat has the least environmental impact? That's a really easy question to answer. Hydrocoat Eco. Hydrocoat Eco uses Echinea and ZPT. Uh, Echinae is completely biodegradable in the water column in days or hours versus other biocides kind of leaching and working for weeks or months. So 
that's one reason. The other reason is the ZPT that's in there is actually FDA approved and found in a lot of dandruff shampoos. So it's extremely environmentally friendly. Um, so Hydrocode Eco is your choice if you're looking for least environmental impact. Lou D from Warren, Pennsylvania. You offer many bottom paints. Which is the best for salt water for both fiberglass and aluminum? So for me, because we're talking about Hydrocoat today, Hydrocoat Eco would be the perfect product for your situation. Fresh water has a real aggressive soft growth issue and the copper free Hydrocoat is perfect for both the fiberglass and the aluminum substrate. So Hydrocoat Eco is the product to go with there. Bill CV, Southport, North Carolina. Is there a white or gray Hydrocoat? Yes, Hydrocoat Eco comes in white and you can also make it gray by adding a little bit of black Hydrocoat Eco. Jimmy from Stewart, Ohio. How do I remove 25 years of Hydrocoat that's built up? Kind of going back to the other question before, media blasting. 25 years of Hydrocoat has to have at least 30 mils of bottom paint on there if you haven't been aggressively sanding it through the year. So media blasting is by far gonna be the easiest way to remove all that built up paint. Now, most importantly, after you remove that paint, you wanna make sure after a blasting that you're priming it with at least two coats of Petter Protect Epoxy Primer. The reason for that, the blaster is gonna open up all those orifices on the bottom of the vessel and you need to reseal that or reseal the hull and protect that hull now from blisters in the future. Now, let's switch gears. Let's go over to our Odyssey HD. Odyssey HD, alternatively, compared to Hydroco, is a solvent-based multi-season ablative. So Hydroco's water-based, soap and water cleanup, less uh, odor. Odyssey HD, solvent-based. So you're gonna be cleaning it up with solvent. It's gonna have a little bit more of an odor. But this product is highly effective, and for the folks that haven't moved over from water-based technologies, Odyssey HD uses an advanced resin structure that allows the product to be applied smoother, go further, and is more durable and lasts longer than our competitor's products. But instead of me telling you how it's different through a bunch of slides, let me show you this video on how it's different. Today we're at one of New Jersey's premier dealerships, Lockwood's Boat Works. Lockwood's Boat Works has been in business for over 75 years. What we're gonna to perform today is something called an Odyssey Challenge. It's a blind test pitting our Odyssey HD versus the competitor's product. Let's check it out. Odyssey HD offers multi-season anti-fouling protection with self-polishing ablative technology and a high copper content. Strong enough to handle any marine environment coast to coast Odyssey HD delivers superior dry times with the ability to be applied and launched in the same day. More coverage per gallon, greater VOC compliance with less smell. Odyssey HD is backed by 18 months of Pettit's industry-leading HD Hull Defense Limited Warranty. What you're going to do is you're going to roll on the new product, the old product, the two different products. Gotcha. And you're gonna see the differences between the two. Okay. And at the end, you're gonna pick which one you like best. Okay. It's going on great. It's not dripping off the roller. It's got great color. It even smells like this. <laughs> I'll black this out one over there compared to this one. It has a, a shade of plum to it. It is. Yeah. See that? Look at yeah. that. His is much blacker compared to this. Big difference. It's real light to go on, you know, compared to the other one. The other one was real heavy. The color on it is much solid, you know, more richer, darker. The fumes on it are much lighter. So we're here with Carmelo. He painted the bottom of this, of this vessel here. What was your feedback on the two different products? Two different colors, two different shades. But that has like a plum shade to it, brown. 
The number one has less odor to it. If this was your boat, which way would you go? Number one. Pretty simple. When you need superior multi-season ablative protection, look no further than Pettit Paints Odyssey HD. The industry's most advanced ablative anti-fouling protection backed by the industry's leading limited warranty. Odyssey HD. Adventure is calling. So there you have actual physical differences. You could actually see the difference between Odyssey HD and our competitors' products. So let's just talk about a couple other things uh, that make this product different. So Odyssey HD's fast dry formula means you can literally paint your vessel today and launch it in the same day. Instead of waiting overnight or a couple days later, as long as the weather's uh, cooperating, of course. This product also has a higher copper content than our, our competitors. We have a 45.7% copper content, which is 20% more biocide than our competition. Now, let's talk about the rebate for Odyssey HD really quick. There's gonna be a lot more on it uh, shortly. You could save $25 per gallon, up to two gallons, from today through May 31st, 2023. So it's the same rebate period as Hydrocoat. 50 bucks on Hydrocoat, 25 bucks on Odyssey HD. Now let's hop into some questions about Odyssey HD. First one here, Scott C, Branford, Connecticut. Does Odyssey HD work as well as Hydroco? Yes, absolutely. It works as well as Hydroco, if not slightly better, because it has a bit more copper in it. Hydrocoat's 40%, Odyssey HD is 47%, so you do have a little bit more of a copper load in Odyssey HD. Gregory B, can I apply Odyssey HD over other manufacturers' paints? This goes back to that question before. Absolutely. Uh, if you're gonna go over a competitor's hard paint, make sure you sand it well, uh, 80 grip. If you're going over a competitor's ablative, make sure it's pressure washed well or lightly sanded. Jim M from Stratford, Connecticut. A lot of Connecticut questions. Which roller should I use for Odyssey HD? We prefer 3-8 snap rollers for Odyssey HD. <clears throat> you also want to make sure you're using a solvent resistant roller because this isn't water based. Um, if you get something with a cardboard core or something like that, the solvent from the paint will eat that roller up and you'll just chewing through rollers. So make sure you use a 3-8 inch solvent resistant roller to prevent breakdowns through the application. Bruce G from Fulton, New York. Where do I apply for the rebate? That's a wonderful question. Pettipaint.com slash rebates. Or if you head over to the Odyssey HD webpage on the website, it's also there as well. Matt S, North, uh, Northboro, Massachusetts. How long has Odyssey HD been around? It's another great question. It's very popular, a common question that we get because some folks don't like to be guinea pigs. Um, Odyssey, HB, uh, Odyssey HD has been around for at least four years, a little bit longer than that through trials and testing and things like that. But it's been on the market for at least four years and it has a tremendous track record in performing well from coast to coast. William T, Ocean Gate, New Jersey. Can I buy Odyssey HD at West Marine or another retailer? William, absolutely. Odyssey HD is really available at most retailers or boatyards that sell paint over the counter. Mike P, Prospect Park, Pennsylvania. Does Odyssey HD need to be applied yearly? The question to that, or the answer to that is, it doesn't need to be applied yearly, as it is a multi-season paint, but there are some folks that like doing maintenance, right? There are those folks that would rather paint every year because they get to inspect everything else, their metals, their through holes, things like that. So if you're one of those folks that like to apply paint every year, no problem. Apply a thinner coat, because you're not really gonna burn through that paint really quickly. So, if you're one of those folks that wanna apply paint every couple years, apply two coats with a 3 8 snap roller, and that way you've got yourself covered, and that way you could skip a season. Next question. Michael Y, Beaufort, South Carolina. What do you recommend for a 70-year-old lightning wooden boat? For wooden boats, we really prefer Odyssey HD. And the reason for that is this solvent-based formula. Solvent-based paints tend to get better adhesion into wood because it just soaks into that wood better, where the water-based uh, products tend to sit on the surface. So 
we really recommend solvent-based Odyssey HD for a wooden boat. Mike S, Largo, Florida. Which product do you recommend for launch and relaunch circumstances and for fouling in Florida? So I personally like Odyssey HD in Florida due to the higher copper content. I just like the protection that it provides. We've seen now four years of really great experience in Florida with the product. So Odyssey HD is really the product I'd prefer. David Yu, Tallahassee, Florida. Which product do you recommend for a trailer between uh, Hydroco and Odyssey HD? I personally prefer Odyssey HD. Uh, it's a bit uh, more durable, has a little bit longer term finish in terms of um, just overall smoothness and polishability, things like that. So I think you'll enjoy the aesthetics of Odyssey HD on that trailer. C. Allison from Hudson, Wisconsin. Which solvent should I wipe down the hull with before applying bottom paint? I think this person had a couple questions. Um, I suggest using our 121 spraying thinner. The reason for that is it evaporates very quickly. It won't soften the coating below. Usually, because it dries down so uh, dries quickly, you won't see it soften our coating or another coating. So that's really why I recommend the 121 spraying thinner. Same person, same area. What sanding method do you recommend as we, we prep for new paint? So I prefer, of course, while wearing proper PPE, an orbital sander hooked up to a vacuum. Now, the reason for that is we want to collect all that sanding residue. You don't want to be breathing in sanding residue. Sanding residue also tends to fly into things that you don't want it to. So if you have a brand new Corvette or Porsche, you don't really want to get that sanding residue onto your brand new car. Also, the sanding residue is a bit difficult to remove from something like upholstery. So make sure whenever you're sanding bottom paint or whenever you see somebody in the yard sanding uh, bottom paint, make sure they're using a vacuum to collect all that sanding residue. Russell C, Redondo Beach, California. Are these products California legal? This is a very common question. Um, and it really has to do with the real restrictions the state of California puts on bottom paints. The answer is yes. Odyssey HD is available in California and it works extremely well in those waters. The divers like it because it's very durable. So Odyssey HD, if you're looking to paint your boat with an ablative in California, Odyssey HD is a product. Now, we've talked about Hydrocoat, we've talked about Hydrocoat Eco, we've talked about Odyssey HD now. Let's talk about the HD warranty that is on our Odyssey HD. Check out this video. More time on the water and less time worrying about your boat's bottom paint? You can with Pettit's premium anti-fouling bottom paints. Pettit's industry-leading HD hull defense limited warranty offers the ultimate in peace of mind protection so you can focus on the fun and forget about fouling. Get 24 months of protection with Trinidad XSR and Odyssey Triton containing highly effective triple biocide packages. These bottom paints prevent all fouling, even in the harshest of marine environments. Get 18 months of protection with Trinidad Pro, Trinidad 75, Trinidad HD, Odyssey 60, and Odyssey HD. Get the peace of mind protection you deserve with Pettit's HD Hull Defense Limited Warranty so you can focus on the fun and forget about fouling. So that's a little bit on our uh, HD warranty. We have the longest warranty in the industry. So we're very proud of that and I hope you enjoyed that video. Now, like I said before, you heard about all the features and benefits of Hydroco and Odyssey HD. Now let's get to the most exciting part, which is our huge rebates. For more information about this, check out our last video of the day on our fight fouling rebate. Boating season is here. We want to help make bottom painting projects a little easier on the wallet with our spring 2023 fight fouling boat owner rebate. We have extremely exciting news to share. Hydrocoat turns 25 this year. To celebrate, we are happy to offer $50 off per gallon on our original Hydrocoat. Hydrocoat is the industry's best selling water based multi season ablative anti fouling paint that is compatible over most other bottom paints. It requires minimal prep, it doesn't smell, performs very well, and it can be hauled and relaunched while cleaning up easily with soap and water. Please join us in the celebration with the tremendous savings opportunity. 
$50 per gallon. Now that's savings you can take to the bank. Next up, save $25 per gallon with Odyssey HD. Odyssey HD is a proven, long-lasting, multi-season ablative anti-fouling paint made to handle the toughest of marine environments. Odyssey HD features fast dry technology, which means you could paint and launch in the same day. This coating will not build up. It could be hauled and relaunched, as well as being applied over most other coatings. Odyssey HD is backed by 18 months of our industry-leading HD Hull Defense Limited Warranty. Both of these products offer multi-season anti-fouling protection, but this rebate doesn't last forever. Purchases must be made between February 15th and May 31st, 2023 to qualify. To take advantage of the rebate, head on over to pettitpaint.com slash rebates. Welcome back. Now that was our video on the 2023 Fight Fouling Boat Owner Rebate. As you can see there, we are giving away significant money. $50 per gallon on Hydroco, $25 per gallon on Odyssey HD. It's the most aggressive rebates we've ever offered. So we really hope that you all take uh, advantage of those rebates. We hope you enjoyed our St. Patrick's Day live stream here. We love doing these for you folks. We hope you get a lot of value. We hope you enjoy the answer, the questions and answers portion of it. And we hope you just learn about paint and enjoy the process for uh, spring commissioning. Any questions that we might have missed today, please feel free to drop them into the, um, either into the comments or email us. We're always happy to take care of those. And we hope you have a wonderful day. Enjoy St. Patrick's Day and the holiday. And we'll see you soon and have a great boating season.